Hello YouTubers, this is my hobby update for February the 12th, 2018. It's been a while. Um, I was out sick during the holidays with the flu. That took four weeks to deal with. That wasn't fun, but I'm back and I'm busy painting. So just starting off with showing you, um, I'm working on my Team Yankee. This is a Zvezda M1 Abrams tank. It doesn't have the same detail compared to Battlefronts, but the scale is, well, pretty much spot on. Uh, here's one of the Chaparral surface-to-air missile launchers. There, uh, those Heinz are going to get a nasty surprise when I get finished with these beauties. Can't wait for the Stripes campaign uh, to come out. I'm definitely uh, going to put my time into that. Let me get those out of the way. For Battlefront, for Flames of War, uh, Mid-War at this point, uh, these are guys I've almost done with. I need to put some highlighting on them. This is a British Honey. Uh, that's going to be my observation uh, tank. I'm going to call it OP, O-P-I-E for observation Okay, and I have here one two-pound crusader here to round out my five crusaders that I already have, so I can have two sections of three crusaders each. Okay, I'll take those off, and this is an M3 Stuart for the Americans. I have to start painting that up. Okay, uh, I went ahead and I created, I put together two more 25 pounders to add to my uh, collection. And you may notice that the figures there, those are not Battlefront figures. Those are Peter Pig figures, 8th Army Artillery Crew. These are the shirtless guys. And I decided to swap those out for the plastic ones that uh, BF included in their kit and I think they fit in quite well I based it with California beach sand okay so that you guys can see it and a little bit of Gale Force 9's uh, dead grass so to speak so I like the overall effect uh, on that so now I've got a big whopping 425 pounders in my desert rats army and, of course, inevitably, to have a Desert Ren, no Desert Ren army would be complete without a motor platoon. Now, my I have a Grant company, and that's okay for that. But, uh, yeah, so all these guys here, this is my motor platoon. Uh, again, the figures... These are Peter Pig miniatures, and again, I think they do a fairly good job of it. Um, I just was not captivated by the kind of plastic that Battlefront was using, and yet I like the plastic that their tanks and uh, artillery are um, that they come out with. So anyway, same thing. Give a little bit of California beach sand there. Southern California beach sand. I forgot which beach I picked it up from, and a little bit of Gale Force 9's flocking, dead grass, and whatnot. So, with those guys out of the way, uh, these guys are still a work in progress. I spent time over the weekend working on these guys here. My Deutsche Afrika Corps. Now, these are, in fact, Battlefront miniatures using Battlefront stands, okay? So you guys can see, this is the full-on platoon that has the mortar, it has the heavy machine gun, and it also has the 2.8 centimeter anti-tank rifle, which is gonna look a little bit fun when it uh, takes on the Crusader tanks. I can't imagine it taking on the Grant tanks. Um, now you kind of notice it's not quite done yet. I've glued the guys onto the bases. Now I've got to go and paint the bases a basic buff colored for the uh, desert floor. And then I'm going to put in my uh, special combination of sand and the uh, Gale Force 9 flock. So that's pretty much what has been happening. 
for my hobby update. And, well, I'm looking forward to putting these uh, guys on the table uh, in the near future. But uh, next month, there's the Stripes campaign. So I think I'm going to have some fun with that and making battle reports for that. Hey, I hope this uh, would be an encouragement to you guys that, you know, even if you do get sick, even if you feel like you can't make it, you still keep plugging on. It can be done. All right. Goodbye and God bless.